all rested up and ready for the Caribbean economy? Let's go! First, select your convoy in the harbor of Port Royal. Is that clear? Check the hold of your convoy to see what you just loaded. We'll need it later. A lot of beer! Beer is important. Does not make you as drunk as rum and not as sick as spoiled water. Now open the town dialogue of Port Royal. To do so, select the whole town from a greater distance, or, if the camera is close by, the town hall or undeveloped areas. Here you can see the inhabitants who live here and have to be taken care of. About one quarter of them are workers. Some of what they produce can be traded with other towns. Below you can see which cultivation and mining commodities can be produced in the town and how efficient such a production would be. Handicrafts such as clothing can be produced equally well in all towns. People always ask for all commodities and the variety of commodities affects the satisfaction. In small settlements, however, simple commodities are more important. If the town grows, the inhabitants become more demanding and the upscale commodities becomes more important. Now switch to the production tab to see the production of the town. Each town can produce a maximum of seven different commodities. Here you can see what is produced in Port Royal per day. This is much more than the inhabitants themselves need. The surplus can then be traded with other towns. Your businesses will be here later. Now switch to the trade between town and convoy tab to see the commodities on the town's market. Here you can see all commodities that are available, sorted by their importance for the inhabitants. The first column shows the fill level of a commodity. This is the ratio of supply to demand. From two green bars on, a commodity is no longer scarce. From four bars on, it is in abundance. Here you can see how many commodities are in stock at the market of the town and in the selected convoy. The convoy must of course be anchored in the harbor of the same town. By buying and selling, you move commodities between the town and the convoy. Here you can see what the town produces and consumes. This includes commodities that serve as raw material for other products. Compare stock and fill level. The longer the stock lasts, the more secure and satisfied the citizens feel. The price of a commodity changes constantly because it depends on supply and demand. The higher the fill level, the lower the price. For the beginning, you should remember, buy from two green bars, sell until two green bars. The last column shows the average price you paid for a commodity. Of course, you should always sell a commodity at a higher price. Take a look at the price of beer. The average price of your loaded commodities is lower than the current price in the town. People want beer, and you can give it to them. To do this, Select the commodity and slowly move the amount from right to left. You can see how the stock and the fill level of the town increases and the price per unit decreases. Now sell your beer supply to the town and close the town dialogue. Very nice. Now show what you have learned. There's an abundance of grain in Port Royal right now. Buy at least 100 barrels.
the commodities are on board. Now you need a destination. I recommend Port-au-Prince, east of Port Royal. Set up your convoy there. Open the town dialogue and get a trade license. Then you sell the grain to the town. Excellent. That was my Caribbean economy crash course. It's really very simple. Buy cheap and sell dear. And don't waste all the profits on drinks. You should now understand what the price of commodities depends on. In the beginning, you do the trading yourself. Later, you set up trade routes and leave the trading to your convoys. Of course, always to your specifications.